guys, so uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I have been taking attendance on Google Classroom. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a topic um, that you will uh, basically put all of your attendance assignments underneath. This way, all of your attendance is in one place and it's very easy to keep track of and manage. In order to do that, you're going to click on this button at the top, create, and you're going to create a new topic. And you can call this attendance or e-learning attendance, whatever you please. Another thing you want to do is you want to go to where it says grades here. And you're going to click on this wheel um, icon at the top. And you're going to scroll down to where you see grading categories. And you're going to click on add grading categories. So I created an entire category for grading, which I've called attendance. And I decided to um, make attendance worth 10 points each day, okay? This is going to help uh, me at the end when I'm trying to input the grades on the grade book and uh, when I'm trying to figure out the overall grade or the overall attendance grade of the student. So um, I felt like this feature was kind of handy. You don't have to do this if you feel like it's unnecessary, but for me, it's, it's been helping. I've also created, um, so you can add as many categories as you want. So you can add homework, um, for example, you can add uh, formative, summative, um, classwork, etc. Whatever, uh, what, whatever category you feel um, is useful. For me, um, I only have attendance and formative graded um, so far because that's what we've been focusing on during this e-learning experience. We're going to head back to our stream. Um, we're going to click on classwork. And I'm going to create a assignment and I'm going to call it attendance number three. Now, I highly recommend that you number your attendance. So that way, um, when you're kind of looking back and checking attendance per day, um, you have you have it all logged. And it's very important that all of the assignments that you create for attendance um, are labeled similarly. So attendance number one, attend attendance number two, or for example, attendance April 14, attendance April 15. You don't want to call them different things and that's that's going to come in handy later on. So anyways, I've, I've, I went ahead and, and called mine attendance number three. And then in the instructions, you want to tell your students to um, basically mark this assignment as done once they log into your session. So, um, our sessions um, are 40 minutes long, meaning that, meaning that students need to be on Google Classroom for the 40 minutes um, that is sent to them in their schedule. And during that period, um, I choose to basically have this present for them for the entire 40 minutes. So they can, as long as they log in at some point during this 40 minutes, that their attendance is logged um, or they have to log their attendance. You can choose to have this set for the first 10 minutes of class or the last 10 minutes of class. It's up to you. You can totally control um, when this is going to be due and when students can actually access it. So for the instructions, I'm going to go ahead and click on, or I'm going to go ahead and type for them to um, please mark this as done once you log into the session in order for your attendance to count. And um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the attendance category that I've already, um, you know, um, set previously under grading. And you'll notice that automatically it changes the grades or the points to 10, which is what I want. And then under topic, I'm going to choose e-learning attendance so that, again, everything is in one place. Um, for the due date, I'm going to make sure that I choose to have it due on the same day and the same time that my session ends because I, I only want my students to be able to uh, log their attendance up to when my session is over, okay? Um, that way, any student that logs their attendance or tries to mark this assignment as done, it's going to basically um, show in my system as done late which means I will not accept their attendance. All right, so once you're done, you're gonna go ahead and click on assign. And um, you wanna make sure that this is assigned uh, at the beginning of your session. So uh, you can do that in two ways. You can just have this um, completed or fill this in 
um, like a few minutes before your session begins and then assign it um, on your session start time. Or you can schedule it so that it, um, it basically posts at the, at the time that you want. So for example, let's say that my session begins at 12.30. I can um, schedule it so that it starts April on the same day at um, oops, 12.30. Well, obviously this is gonna, not gonna work. Let's do, let's do Thursday and 12.30 p.m. Oh, must be, must be scheduled before. Oh, sorry, I said that my session begins at, sorry, so let's say it's at 11.30. Okay, so then this means that this particular announcement or this particular assignment is going to be um, posted at 11.30 a.m. and then it will be due at 12.10 p.m. Okay, so they have around 40 minutes. Um, all right, so once that happens and you um, basically have students logging in their attendance, um, it should look something like this. So... If you click on view at view assignment, I've already graded this. So, but um, right away, if 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 I had not graded this, you would have seen that um, there are certain students that would have turned it in, and then some would have not. And right away, you know that the ones that are that have a sign next to their name, they get a zero because they did not attend your session. And then you're gonna have to check. So, for example, um, some students did turn it in, but they turned in late. So if it says done late next to their name, they also, this means that they tried to log in and um, fill the attendance form after your session is over, after my session was done. So I did not count that. Right away, you can go ahead and basically anyone that was there, you give them a full grade and then those who were not there or were late, um, you just give them a zero. When you're in here, you're gonna click on this wheel sign again, all right? So once you're under the assignment, you're gonna click on the wheel and you're gonna click on this option. Copy all grades to Google Sheets. What this will do is it will open up all of the grades that you've had on Classroom and it will be like a nice little grade book for you. Okay, now next I'm gonna create a new tab and I'm gonna rename this Attendance. Then I'm going to copy all of my students' names, and I don't really care about their last name because I know them pretty well, so I'm just going to copy their first names. Once I have that done and I have all the students' names, I'm going to then go and find, so it'll, it'll show you all of the assignments that you have, but I don't really care about that, about the previous ones. I'm only looking to... Um, I'm only looking at attendance right now. So I'm gonna find attendance and you see, because we've named them um, very similarly and um, <clears throat> the only difference is the numbers here, they're gonna be grouped together. So it's super easy. All you need to, know, all you need to do now is you, you're gonna highlight the um, grades that you've inputted, copy or command C if you have a Mac. And then you're gonna go to the tab, the, your attendance tab, and you're gonna paste it. Command V or Control V, or um, so you just paste it. And basically, um, now we can very easily calculate their total grade. Okay, so to do that, equal sum. Okay, and then we can convert this to a percentage. Equal, you click on this um, cell, divide by the total, um, the total number of points, or the maximum number of points that the student uh, could have earned, which is 20, times <clears throat> multiplied by 100. Um, so this person got 100, and all you have to do then is click on the cell and drag it down, and same with this. I'm gonna go ahead and just color this differently so it's easier to read. And obviously you can add headings to make it more user friendly. Okay, all right, so you can do this either bi-weekly, 
So every week you can just copy all of the submissions for attendance and calculate their grade and then input it on the grade book for um, you know once instead of instead of inputting attendance every single day. Um, this way you are only doing it once. All you have to do is put this grade once. Um, or you can wait till the end of the semester and just give them an overall grade. So in, um, you wait till the end of the semester and you do the same thing. You pull out the grade book, you copy all of the, um, all of the columns that are relating to your attendance assignments and you paste them all at once. Right now I only have two, so that's why I only did it with two. But if I had like 10, I would have copied all of them, placed them here, use the exact same formulas to calculate the total grade and the total percentage. And then on my grade book on Schooly, all I have to do is input just one grade. And that would be their overall attendance grade. And it just saves, um, saves me time instead of kind of like putting an attendance grade every single day. And since I am putting it on, um, or I'm like logging it on Google Classroom, the students can stay up to date and they know that you're actually taking attendance because you are putting it on Google Classroom. But instead of me doing the whole um, adding the grades twice, um, this way I only do it once on Google Classroom and then once at the end for a final grade onto my grade book or onto Schooly. I hope that was helpful and um, um, I hope that you were able to benefit. Have a great day.